right, we're changing out a condenser coil on a ICP uh, that it barely has any warranty left on it. I suggested a new condenser and I'll show you why. The compressor's been replaced and whoever did it did a horrible job. You can see these solder joints are not that great. But what he did is instead of unsweating this, he cut it and he pulled it because he didn't have enough slack. So he pulled and made slack. And when he did that, he cracked the tubing right here. And you can see that all this is covered in oil. He did the same thing with his suction line. He cut it instead of unsweating it. And he didn't have enough slack. So he put a small piece of pipe. This is a coupling. And then this is the original piping. And when he pulled on this to stick it in here, he caused all this. So he's only got like three weeks of warranty left. And uh, I tried to sell this man a condenser, but he just, he didn't want to have it. So we're going to do the best we can with it. All right, we have the old coil removed. There it is. I have a Milwaukee blower that runs off my drill batteries. We're gonna blow out this pan real good, get it nice and clean, set the new coil in place, and uh, braze it in, change that dryer. That's not even a 16 cubic inch. We have the new coil in place, all welded in. We have the cage back on. We have installed a new 16 cubic inch filter dryer instead of this little baby filter dryer that they had. So we have a 16 cubic inch, a 163S. We gotta put the top back on it and we're getting ready to pressure test and vacuum. All right, guys, so I missed a couple steps on footage. I do apologize. The unit's all put back together. We've weighed in the factory charge. Okay, so the unit is operational. Everything looks good. Uh, I don't like the, uh, the way they did the blocks. Now, I do blocks around here because people want them off the ground, but we do four blocks, a pad, then the unit. I don't just sit them on the blocks. And the blocks are not even square or anything. Look, this, this guy's only got about like, a, I think, a week or so left of warranty. Maybe maybe, maybe two weeks. And uh, I, I told him he should have did a new system because these evaporator coils leaking too. So, uh, And he wouldn't even change the evaporator. So we just made all these repairs. We made this big repair and all that, but he still has a leaking evaporator. So but that's what he wanted to do. Okay. We're done. So I'm headed over there to put my stickers on the unit. And it had lock caps. I took those off and I'm gonna put some brass caps with uh with gaskets. There's a gasket in there. A lot of guys don't believe in stickers. I do. A lot of people around here will actually go look at the unit to see if there's a company, a company name on the unit. Tight spot back here. There we go. So what I usually do is I stick one on the unit and one on the disconnect. Like I said, people will go. And uh, around here anyway, my stickers have gotten me several phone calls. So, I know people don't believe in putting stickers on units, but it has worked for me. So I 
put one there. Okay, so I put one there and I put one here on the disconnect. Case in point, about a month ago, I had a guy call me. He's like, hey, bud, I just bought this house and the unit's not cooling. Uh, I went outside to look at it and I saw your sticker on the unit. So that's why I called you. I figured you'd worked on it before. So stickers do work. All right, so real quick summary, change the condenser coil, put a new filter dryer. The evaporator coil does leak. He knows that. It's not under warranty. The evaporator's not. FYI, I did not put this unit in and I did not put the evaporator in. The customer is also the one, he did not have the compressor replaced. He bought the house recently like this. So with a little bit of warranty he had left, I suggested a new condenser and a new evaporator instead of fixing this thing. Yes, it's under warranty, but only for a couple more weeks. Whoever did the compressor, y'all saw they did a really bad job. The outdoor fan motor is making noise, so it's gonna need to be replaced here before too long. He says he's just trying to get a few more months out of it, then he'll call me to replace it. To me, that makes no sense, but what are you gonna do? You, you do what the customer asks. The unit is partially fixed. The leak out here is fixed, the leak in the evaporator is not. So we'll see what happens in the future. Um, hopefully he will call for that replacement. But, uh, you know, if not, we did what he asked. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.